Hello guys, in this video, we are going to solve problem based on inverse the transform using partial fraction. Okay, here is the question. Find the inverse the transform of the x of z value uh, function. It is given z plus 1 divided by 3z square minus 4z plus 1. And one condition is given when ROC is, that means mod z is greater than 1. Okay, for that condition also, we have to find inverse the transform. So, normal procedure will follow and at last we will find out for this ROC. Okay. So the first step is that see whether the powers of z is positive or negative. Since the power is positive, we can proceed to the next step. That is, we have to simplify the denominator. That means if it is quadratic, we have to bring it to the linear factors. How we can bring it to the linear factor? Just you can go by uh, splitting up the middle term, or you can using uh, using calculator. So you can find. So simple thing. Uh, go to mode. Press five. Equation is there. Then the third part, third option that is ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero. That is a quadratic equation form. So press three. So in, in this you have to give abc values. That means coefficients three, minus four, and one. So I'll press three, minus four, and plus one. Press equal to you'll get x x one value you got one and plus one by three. Two values you'll get. Okay. So we got z values at as one and 1 by 3 okay 1 and 1 by 3 we got now we have to write so x of z i'll write it as numerator remains the same x of x plus 1 sorry z plus 1 divided by 3z square minus 4z plus 1 i'll write it in this form how i can write z minus 1 into z minus 1 by 3 okay z minus 1 into z minus 1 by 3 how i i wrote this one so just simple so one z value we got 1 and 1 by 3 if it is positive right here negative z minus this thing bring it to the this side z equal to 1 that means z minus 1 okay z equal to 1 by 3 that means z minus 1 by 3 that's it so we got in the linear factors now the next step is that you have to write x of z by z the x of z value you have to function whatever is there you have to divide by it by z so x of z is z plus 1 divided by z minus 1 into z minus 1 by 3 this whole thing i need to divide it by z that means just put z in the denominator okay dividing this x of z by z now this step is over next we'll proceed next step is to go by, go by the method of partial fraction now the partial fraction so x of z by z equal to this three are linear factors z is there z minus 1 is there z minus 1 by 2 so a by z plus b by z minus 1 plus c by z minus 1 by 3 okay this is the thing now let us try to find out a b c values how we can find out a b c value simple for a value let us find out first a whatever is there in the denominator of a you have to just bring it to the lhs side so this will be x of z by z is already there in the lhs bring this to this side that is z okay this will go up and you have to substitute z value such that this term will become zero which term this z term so we have to substitute zero itself because in order to make z as zero so you have to substitute z equal to zero next so x of z by z i'll write which is nothing but this so it will be z plus 1 whole thing divided by z into z minus 1 into z minus 1 by 3 into this z is z and substituting z equal to 0 don't substitute in this step itself because if you substitute z equal to 0 in this equation here numerator part this will become 0 denominator 1 z is z this will become 0 so it will be in the form of 0 by 0 no use so what we need to do we have to cancel these two terms then you have to substitute z equal to 0 okay now when i substitute z equal z equal to 0 what happens 0 plus 1 correct 0 plus 1 it is 1 divided by 0 minus 1 minus 1 into 0 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 okay so this will become minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 so i can write it as 1 by this 3 will go up so it is 1 into 3 this is equal to 3 okay so we got a value equal to 3 
simple thing okay minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 so this will become 1 by 1 by 3 so this 3 will go up that's why it is 1 into 3 which is equal to 3 so a value we got next b value we have to find out so in order to find a b value again the same procedure x of z by z see here lhs whatever is there in the denominator part z minus 1 is there that i have to bring it to the lhs part so z minus 1 correct bring it to this side and i have to substitute z value such that this term will become 0 so i need to substitute here 1 okay so 1 minus 1 is 0 here also same thing z equal to 0 such that this term will become 0 now i have to substitute first x of z by z that is z plus 1 divided by z into z minus 1 into z minus 1 by 3 into okay z minus 1 is there and i have to substitute z equal to 1 this is the thing x of z by z i wrote then z minus 1 is there i have to substitute z equal to 1 don't substitute directly here since you can see z minus 1 is there in the denominator part also and numerator part also if i substitute here directly in this step itself this will become 0 by 0 form no use so first cancel these two terms then you substitute z value equal to 1 so when you substitute what will happen 1 plus 1 divided by 1 into 1 minus 1 by 3 so which is equal to 2 divided by 1 minus this i'll simplify 3 minus 1 by 3 so which is equal to 2 by 2 by 3 that is equal to 6 by 2 which is equal to so here also i got the value as what 3 so b value equal to what 3 again next step so now i need to find out c value okay so c is equal to again the same thing x of z by z and whatever is there in the denominator part that is z minus 3 i have to multiply z minus 1 by 3 i have to multiply here and i have to set substitute z value such that this term will become 0 so i need to substitute 1 by 3 so that 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 become 0 okay now x of z by z is what i have, I have to substitute this value that is nothing but z plus 1 whole thing divided by z into z minus 1 into z minus 1 by 3 and z value should be 1 by 3 i have to cancel okay sorry one but one more term is that z into z minus 1 by 3 okay so this two get cancelled after that you have to substitute the value of z which is 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 by plus 1 divided by 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 minus 1 okay so see here i have to simplify this part i'll do it here so this becomes 1 plus taking lcm 3 by 3 divided by 1 by 3 into 1 minus 3 by 3 so which is equal to 4 by 3 divided by 1 by 3 into this will become 1 minus 3 is minus 2 by 3 so 4 by 3 divided by minus 2 by 9 so 3 ones are 3 threes are it will become 4 into 3 this will 3 will go up by minus 2 so 2's are so one minus sign is there minus 6 so i got c value also which is equal to minus 6 okay so i got all the values a b c now you have to just substitute so i will just substitute here so this will become a value is 3 so 3 by z plus b values again 3 3 by z minus 1 plus c value we got it as minus 6 by z minus 1 by 3 okay now next thing is that we have to get the value of x of n what is x of n it is nothing but the inverse z transform so from x of z we have to get x of n so for that this is one extra term see so understand this concept x of z x of n z transform is x of z so if i want to get x of z x of n so x of z i have to take inverse z transform which i will get it as x of n okay now for that purpose i just need x of z so this x z i can take it to the rhs side so x of z will be remaining in the lhs part the so rhs part what happens is z will go that side so multiply in the numerator z so 3z by z plus 
थ्री बाई सॉरी जेड विल कम जेड माइनस वन माइनस सिक्स माइनस एनी जेड प्लस माइनस माइनस सिक्स जेड बाई जेड माइनस वन बाई थ्री ओके मल्टीप्लाई दिस जेड टू द न्यूमरेटर ईच टर्म ओके सिंस इट इज प्लस नो सो यू हेव टू मल्टीप्लाई इन ईच टर्म न्यूमरेटर पार्ट ओके द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज दैट वेन आई सी हियर दिस टू गेट कैंसल्ड देन थ्री इज रिमेनिंग सो फ्रॉम दिस आई नीड टू फाइंड आउट एक्स ऑफ एन रिमेम्बर सम फॉर्म लास्ट द डेल्टा एन Z transform is one, okay. Then a power n u of n z transform is z by z minus e. If I want to find out inverse z transform, it will be the reverse. One for one, inverse z transform will be what delta n. And for z by z minus e, inverse z transform will be a power n u of n. Just the reverse of that. So we'll be using these formulas. One inverse the transform will be what delta n. That means here you can see one constant term is there, just three. So if I multiply with one, it will be three itself. Okay. So what I'll do? This is three into one. So for one inverse the transform will be delta n. So three into delta n. Okay. Three into delta n. Plus, so remember this thing. Whenever you get constant, constant term into delta n, that will be inverse the transform of that function. Now three z by z minus a, three you leave z by z minus one you see. When I compare with z by z minus a, what is a here? A is one. So I need to write this. Okay, this is inverse the transform. So a power n, what is a here? One. So one power n, u of n. And this three is there, so three I'll multiply here. Okay, three I can multiply here. The thing is that one power n. See, one power any number will be what? One itself. So one you multiply. See, if you take one power thousand also, it will be one itself. One you multiply many times, it will be one itself. So you can cancel this term. Just write three into u power n, u of n, not power n, u of n. Minus six is the extra term. Okay. You observe this part z by z minus a. Here, a is one by three. Okay, a is one by three. So I would write one by three power n a power n u of n. So this will be the final x of n. So when you see x of n, you will get it in n n terms. You can see right this n you can see everywhere each and every term. For x of z, you can see z terms will be there. Okay, now we got x of n. So if you if they asked you, if they ask you just inverse the transform, you have to do it till here. But in this question, they have asked you for ROC also. We have to find out when mod z is greater than one. So when mod z is greater than one, what is one here? Just observe the term which is having one. See b by z minus one. So this is nothing but one they are talking about. Okay. If they tell you mod z is greater than one by three, they'll be talking about this term. No need to bother about this term because we have uh, additionally added that term. Okay, we have divided by x of z by z. We found out that's why this term came. Observe here these two terms. If they tell you mod z greater than one by three, so we have to see this term. This term means you have to see this term, then this term, and then this term. This is the final term for one by three. For one, in this question they ask for one, you have to see this term. So three into u of n. This one power n, one power n, you can write if you want. Otherwise, three into u u of n. So you you just see this term. Since mod z is greater than one, so always remember whenever they give you mod z greater than some value, then the mod x of n will remain the same thing. That means it will be three into rest all terms will remain the same, as well as this term also will remain the same. That is u three into u of n, one power n. If you want, you write. Minus six into one by three power n u of n. Okay, like that. If mod z is greater, suppose if they give you mod z is less than one, then what you'll do? Then you have to change the all the terms. Okay, that we have seen in the previous video. You can that watch that video for that. Okay.